Food creators, want a different take on Salisbury steak? No need to bring out the frozen dinners with my recipe. Let's get started. All right, so what could be better than having Salisbury steak? What about French onion Salisbury steak? I'm telling y'all, this is a phenomenal dish, as I always say. My clients love this so much, they said that they really love the sauce. It's the sauce that's the boss, y'all. I'm not trying to be cliche. They say it is so good that they could actually drink it. So I hope that you feel the same way too. We gotta make that meat. We gotta make that meat, okay, so this is going to be turkey, French onion turkey Salisbury steak, okay? So I got a ground turkey in here, about a pound and a half. I have Worcestershire sauce, oatmeal, because I like to put oatmeal in my uh, meat base. This is what I do for my meatloaf also, y'all. I have an egg, I have my season, I have thyme, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of pepper. And I also have green onions, okay? So this is... This is gonna be a little different. Like I said, it's different from what you're probably used to. So I put maybe about a fourth of a cup of uh, green onions in here. We're gonna put the Worcestershire sauce on here. And don't worry, I'm gonna have it in the description box, the recipe. I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic powder over here and you know, to your taste. That's what I always say in the description box. Onion powder and just go easy on the time to put much as you want, of course, and some black pepper. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start mixing this up. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and get my oatmeal going. Okay, so I like to get my oatmeal moistened up first. I like to moisten it up with the egg because I don't wanna take any of the moisture from the meat. We want the meat to be nice and moist. Although it's going to be in a gravy, we still want it to be nice and moist. And this is what I do, like I said, when I do my meatloaf. This is what I do with my meatloaf. So we're going to let this hang out for a little bit, and then we're going to mix it into the meat. So while that's hanging out over there, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to get my hand in here, and I'm going to mix it up. Don't be afraid to touch your meat, y'all. Don't be afraid. It's, it's a dead animal, yeah. <laughs> But we're going to get this mixed up. And I'm going to want to over knead this because we don't want to get this tough. All right. Now, traditionally, Salisbury steak is made with ground beef. But I didn't want ground beef. I wanted mine with ground turkey. And uh, you can do this with ground meat. Okay. You can, you can do it with ground beef. You can do it with ground pork, lamb, whatever you want. Because a recipe is just a guy who created the way you want. Using your heart and head. Okay. So we're going to mix this up. And I put a little salt on here, and my oatmeal is a little moistened now. Like I said, we don't want it to be dry and take from our meat mixture. You don't have to use oatmeal if you don't want, y'all. Y'all can use uh, some flour. You don't even have to use the oatmeal if you don't want. But I wanted mine to be a little bit more tender. I, I wanted it to be, I like the way Gavin put it. He said, oh, you wanted it to be fried uh, meatloaf <laughs> with gravy. So I guess that, that's kind of what it is, um, if you want to say that. Uh, like I said, I've seen other recipes where they have put um, flour in it. But that's not what I'm going for, okay? So now I'm going to do something that some of y'all are going to be like, Chef Sonia, I can't believe you did that. When I was in culinary school, I had a chef that told me, he told us in class, he said, hey, you got to taste this raw meat, okay? You got to see how it tastes. Now, I'm not swallowing the meat, okay? I just want to taste it on my tongue to see if the seasonings are there. Otherwise, another way you can do it, and this is if you want to do it, you can fill this with water and let it come to a boil, put a meatball in and let it, you know, simmer until it's done and then you could taste the meatball to see if it's simmered. Now listen, 
I ain't got that kind of time. Husband's hungry. If you got kids, your kids are hungry. Do you really want to wait for that to go through all that? So just taste. Okay, I taste oyster syrup. I didn't, I just got some meat on my hand. Does it have Worcestershire sauce on it? Can I cannot taste the garlic powder? That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going for. And next, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, so now it's time to patty up these things. Let me bring this over here to you so you can see. So I'm trying to get six. That's the goal. We're going to try to get six. Now, what you really should do is if you're trying to get it equal so nobody will be like, the man is too small. You can get a, a scale measure out how much is in here, and then divide it by six. Yeah, I don't have time for that, so I'm gonna eyeball it, right? And you're gonna eyeball it too. So, <laughs> so we're gonna take our meat, and we're just trying to get it like little loaves, a little loaf, and we're gonna put that there, look at that. Little oval loaves, if you want them the shape of squares, or rectangles, you can do that too. I'm gonna show another one for you. And like I said, you can do ground beef if you don't wanna have turkey. So we want them about right there. It's time to get rocking and rolling on these patties. Look at all these patties that I got for you. So we're gonna put them in the pan. Do the other two later. We just want to let them hang out for about four minutes on one side. We're going to flip them over and come back. So we got to talk about what's going to go on here after this is uh, browned on both sides. We have beef stock, flour, parsley, onion, because this is French onion uh, salisbury steak, right? And we got wine. Oh yeah, red wine, y'all. That's going to set it off. All right, so we're going to flip this over. See, we want a nice little crust on it. I want that to be nice and meaty. See how it puffs up? That's what we we're looking for. Um, let those stay in there for four minutes. Okay, so y'all see how this looks? I know y'all like, oh, they're, they're puffed up. And, and some of y'all would probably do what? Smash it down. Don't you do that. Because <laughs> you want it to be nice and juicy. You want to make it feel like they got, they're getting some oomph. Um, it's not a burger, y'all. Okay, this is going to be Salisbury steak and it's going to have the onions and the gravy. Oh, yeah, so leave it alone. Don't, if you're tempted, just put it away. Just go hide it, okay? Okay, it's time to take our meat out of here. And we'll put it on a different platter. Keep it warm. Look at all that yumminess, y'all. Look at all that yumminess. A lot of y'all probably be ready to throw that away. These are the six patties that I cranked out for you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw these onions in here. This is about two cups of onions. So that's two onions. And I'm just going to stir this around because I want this to sweat out all of those drippings down there. That's fond. Fond, y'all. Remember fond. That's what we want. We want to sweat out all of that. Stuff, get up all those yummy bits and the onion it just smells amazing so we're gonna let that hang out and kind of caramelize okay we're gonna let that caramelize okay look man y'all should smell this you know I have put Worcestershire sauce in there and so that's getting all nice and caramelized and we're gonna still let that hang out but we gotta put some seasoning on here right we gotta put a little salt not too much not too much. Okay, and I'm gonna put a couple of hits of black pepper on there because I don't feel like grinding it all. <laughs> Ain't no shame in the game, right? Sometimes you can keep it real with you, right? <laughs> so we gotta whirl that around. Let 
that get a little bit, it's like French onion soup, okay? It's like French onion soup, but we're just letting this get nice and caramelized just like you would a French onion soup. All right, we're gonna put some fresh garlic in there. Just because I want to, like I said, it's your recipe, do what you want. And it's gonna take it up to another light notch. So just, whew, yes, baby, it just smells so good when I put that in there. So now, we're gonna put this flour on here because we're getting ready to make our gravy, y'all. We're gonna make our gravy. So we're gonna get this nice and coated. Gotta put that wine in there. you want it because the recipe actually called for brown sugar the way we used to do it in uh, the meal assembly establishment where I used to work but I didn't want the brown sugar and again you can put that in there I'll put it in the description box for those of you that might be interested and this is a uh, beef stock because even though it's it's a uh, turkey y'all I wanted to have that um, beef flavor so this is how you trick them like you trick them like that <laughs> so we're just going to bring this up to a boil so that it can thicken. We want it to thicken. All right, so we got to taste our gravy. See the gravy has thickened up. That's what we want. We want our gravy to be a little thick. We don't want it to be thin. So that's what that flour is about. Gravy or the sauce. See, it's a little line there. That's what you want. If you can see that, but we got this is fine, but I need to put a little bit more love in there. So I put a little salt. I'm gonna put some fresh parsley in there. Stir that up. Now we're gonna put our Salisbury steaks back in here because we want them to get all good and lovey dovey. Let's just go ahead and man overboard. Slowly, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Okay, so look at that. Look at how rich and delicious this is. <laughs> and I know we got a lot of sauce here, but uh, who cares, right? So we gotta taste that yummy sauce. Mm. It's so good. It's so good, y'all. Yeah, it's gonna make you cry, you know. And if you wanna put some sugar in there, you can. But like I said, I didn't want that. So we gotta plate this up. We got mashed potatoes or smashed potatoes. Chef Sonia's smashed potato. If you want to see this recipe, you go on my link in the description box and look at the link. So we got to have all that goodness. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Man overboard. <laughs> Looking good. Yes. So this is going to be uh, G-Man's plate, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I am Chef Sonia King with King Creations PCS. See you next time.